we aren't starting Jermaine Burton in fantasy, but it's always good to know the next man up. If there were ever injuries, especially with T Higgins, when he did not play in week nine, we were talking about, Hey, maybe Burton gets a little bit of time. Andre Yosivash is always someone that we mentioned, um, but he was a healthy, a healthy scratch for this game. And so that was just uh, one of those things that I wanted to bring up where they've, they've come out and said their head coach, Zach Taylor didn't really get into specifics on why they chose to sit Burton. Uh, but they said it was necessary, a necessary, reaction to something that happened late in the week we know that it you know playing in Alabama Nick Saban said that he had you know his emotional maturity needed to be addressed and was kind of an issue so again uh kind of disappointing I drafted him really really late in best ball drafts with the off chance that maybe you know we never want injuries but if there were injuries to T Higgins Jamar Chase that he would step up but healthy scratch and we'll see uh where they go from here with him yeah and sometimes rookies just don't adjust to the NFL well, don't follow instructions, and that's the risk sometimes. It's, we know all these guys coming in have talent, and you really have to be ready to work, and sometimes guys aren't, and whatever is going on, uh, he's paying the price. But even with Higgins out, it's Gesicki, who's really the guy who steps yeah. up. Uh, Yoshivash, has, he's been a disappointment disappointment i know he scored a touchdown and he has four touchdowns this year on just 15 receptions though so he's had some opportunities with t higgins out and it just hasn't happened yeah just dis uh, disappointing for sure that's someone that we mentioned too earlier in the season of just saying hey if injuries happen then he's probably going to be that next guy up but it doesn't look like that's happening the way that we would have wanted it to either so mike Gusecki, like you said is the guy to go and pick up this week if he is available for whatever reason he will be highlighted in the uh, waiver wire report that comes out tomorrow as well so definitely take a look at that fantasylife.com